Today, we'll show you how to upgrade your TV experience by installing your mini box. If you can plug in a lamp, you've got all the skills you need to do this. In fact, here's all we're going to be doing. Currently, your cable comes from the wall and plugs directly into your TV. You'll just be putting the mini box between the wall and your TV. Simple. And I'll walk you through it. First, let's get familiar with your mini box kit and make sure you have all the pieces. Your kit should include a mini box, an HDMI cable, plus a plastic bag with a coax cable inside, a power cord, and a remote. On the inside of the box lid, you'll find four easy steps we'll be walking through today, all color-coded for your convenience. The steps are also shown in your easy setup guide that is included in your kit. Now we're set to go. To begin, make sure your TV is turned off. Now, go to the back of your TV and disconnect the coax cable from the TV. This is the cable that runs from the wall into your TV. You can leave the other end of the cable plugged into the wall. Then, connect that cable to the far left black coax port on your new mini box that's labeled Cable From Wall. Let's go to the back of the TV again and look for a port labeled HDMI. Most high definition TVs should have one. If you bought your TV before 2004, you may not have this, but don't worry. I'll show you how to do that setup in a minute. If your TV does have a place for an HDMI cable, connect the HDMI cable with the blue connector to the blue HDMI port on the back of the mini box labeled HD to TV. Then, connect the other end of the HDMI cable to the HDMI port on the back of your TV. Now, for those of you who don't have an HDMI port on the back of your TV, open the plastic bag that's in tray two of the kit your mini box came in. This is a coax cable with a blue connector. Connect the blue coax cable to the blue coax port on the back of the mini box labeled 2TV. Then, connect the other end of the coax cable to the coax port on the back of your TV. When you're done, you will have either chosen the blue HDMI cable or the blue coax cable. You don't want to use both. One more cord to go. Connect the yellow power cord into the yellow power port on the back of the mini box. Then, plug the other end into the power outlet on the wall. The green light on the front of your mini box should start flashing. Turn on the TV using your TV's existing remote or the TV's power button. Now, if you have a newer high-definition TV and you were able to use the HDMI cable earlier, press the input or source button on your TV's existing remote or directly on your TV. If you used the coax cable instead of the HDMI cable, take your existing TV remote, not your mini box remote, and turn your TV to channel 3. Using the mini box remote would only change the channel on the mini box and you want to change the channel on your TV. Then make sure the channel 3 or 4 switch on the back of the mini box is set to 3. In some areas, you may need to turn your TV to channel 4. If you don't see video or the on-screen guide on your TV, use your existing TV remote to turn the TV to channel 4 and change the switch on the back of the mini box to channel 4. The first thing you'll see when activation begins is the welcome screen. Your mini box will then perform a self-test, which consists of a connectivity test to ensure your mini box is connected to our system, plus a software update check so you know you have the latest software. If the need for a software update is detected, the update automatically downloads and installs. You can follow the process of the self-test on screen. You shouldn't need to take any action unless you are given specific directions on screen. When the activation is complete, you're ready to watch TV. You should now be able to see the on-screen guide, although it may take a few minutes for the mini box to register with our system. Now, let's program your mini box remote so it will control both your TV and your new mini box. First, be sure your TV is turned on. Press and hold Setup on the mini box remote until the remote's power button blinks twice, then release. Now press and release the power button. 
the power button will stay lit. Aim the remote at your TV. Press and hold the select button. The power button will flash periodically as it searches for the code for your TV. Release the select button as soon as your TV turns off. Using your new Minibox remote, press and release the power button to turn on your TV. Try changing the volume and channels. If this works, now your remote is set up. Now you should be set to go. If you're having trouble, call us at 1-866-961-0416 or visit us at cox.com slash go all digital. We'll be happy to help.